How y'all doing today? Today is a video about my new kennel setup. I would like to thank my subscribers. <clears throat> Moving in the right direction, going all going up the right way I need to be going. Looking at my own my material I got to do the kennel setup. I got some two by sixes. I got six of them because my kennel is on um, 16 by 8. Four slots. Each slot will be four by eight. Excuse me. <clears throat> pressure treated wood. I want to pressure treated wood because I don't want to do this right now and then next year <clears throat> be doing it all over again. So I think I get the better wood. These are my own um, four by fours. This will be going in the ground with cement using a post hole digger. <clears throat> Excuse me. This area right here is where I want to put my kennel at. And I took my tape measure and I measured out exactly where I'm going to be at. And I took some spray paint and spray painted the lines already. As you can see, preparation is the key to doing this. Cuts the job time down in half. If you prep for it the right way. So that's what I did, <clears throat> which I had mishaps. This is the first hole I dug. I dug the back, the back part of, part of my own kennel first because I wanted to be on the angle. So this here is my wiring that I had running on the back side of my house on the easement. So even though I spray painted my own, my measurements, I had to move up a little further so I can make sure I don't hit any of them. So where the post hole diggers was, that's where it would start at. Wires run all the way underneath the house, well, underneath the ground. Right there is the blue marking. That's my two foot mark. My back three posts will be dug two feet in the ground. This is the um, two by sixes. Got them ran all the way across because they're 16 feet. This is the easiest way to measure out to make sure I was doing it the correct way. That's my first hole. Then I just ran a two by six across to my next hole and start digging the other one. Like I said, since I had to spray paint in the wrong spot, just simple to do it just your way. Now I put my first post in the ground. I'm trying to make sure it's level and it's even before I add the um, cement to it. Because once that cement hardened up, that's pretty much it. It's locked in place. Everything look good. Now I ran my two posts. Now I need to run a piece of string. Couldn't find strength, so I had to improvise. I ran this here ribbon all the way across. It's straight. Then I came right in the middle where I'm having my two by sixes at. I'm going to start digging right there. Now this is me. I just threw the seed in the hole, threw the water in there. And I'm just stirring it up and getting it real muddy and thick. So when it, it hardens up, you can stay there. It's the first three poles. This is the back side. So these poles was eight feet deep, but I went two feet in the ground. So it's six feet on the back side. And on the front side, it'll be six and a half. I'm going to have a slant on it. So the water can run off a half half foot slant. The yellow line is what my front three posts will be at. That's one and a half. So the front three is one and a half. The back side is two feet. That's what my runoff will be at. Now I'm running my uh, two by sixes. I use my air compressor and my nail gun, two inch nails, just to just to hold it in place. Until I use the deck screws, I use three inch deck screws. And this is pretty much. The first step of me building the kennel, you can see I used the um, three inch deck screws after I just used one nail on each side just to hold it in place. And that's pretty much it right now. This step one, stay tuned. I might do step two next week. Appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe. Keep watching my channel.